Today I'm at um, Ballast Point. I'm taking a look at a eight-year porter. You can see right here, nice dark color going on. Going in for the taste. It's a lot of nuance of fig and raisins. It has a lot of thick, heavy body. Even the smell. Smell, you're getting a lot of kind of a fig-like smell going on. Is there, there is a decent amount of um, malt. You can taste the hops. This is kind of an alcoholic burn to it. It's mild, but it's there. You're getting kind of a peanut taste as well. So yeah, that's a eight year porter. It's not technically a review. Just wanna say a, a few, I don't know, you'd call it video notes on it. What's up, we're here with another tasting. Still tasting them. We got the aged black marlin. Going in for the smell, you get kind of a woody smell. A little bit of malt on the nose. Go for the taste. Just like my friend Kim over here said, getting a little bit of cherry, getting a little bit of wood. Getting a little bit of maltiness and hops. Very smooth and balanced. There's not that much going on with this one compared to the eight year aged porter. That one has definitely much more going on. So I'll keep you guys tuned in on my other tastings. Now we're taking a look at the tongue buckler. It is um, bourbon cast, imperial red ale. Taking a look at the sip. Definitely got a lot of maltiness and hop, like citrusy hops. Go for the taste and getting a lot of caramel, very caramelized. You're getting kind of that bourbon aged taste, get that bourbon barrel. Getting that citrusy hop, kind of like grapefruit. But yeah, you get that flavor of caramel, the barrel, you get that toasted barrel taste. Definitely a decent beer right here. But so far my favorite is this one right here. We'll be taking a look at that in a second. But yeah, keep you guys posted. Doing a quick tasting of Victory at Sea aged. So go on for that smell, getting a lot of roastedness, kind of like coffee or chocolate. Very strong, very, very nice smell though. Going on for the taste. Getting some maltiness, getting some roastedness, very toasty notes, kind of getting almost like a cocoa powder, powder. a um, little bit of kind of roasted beans. Um, a um, little bit of hoppiness going on, not too much. It's a very peppy beer. I like it. It kind of kind of sparks you. Kind of like taking a taste of some nice roasted coffee. This sort of reminds me. But the nuances are more to the chocolate side, I would say, than to the coffee side. But yeah, that's about all I got for you guys. I'll keep you guys posted. What's up? We're taking a look at Victory at Sea Nitro. The smell is very roasty. Very smooth, sweet smell. Coming in for the taste. Getting kind of a coffee nuance with this one. A little bit of a cocoa, but not as much as the aged one. It's very smooth, kind of creamy, kind of thick. Kind of reminds me of Guinness. Yeah, definitely a good beer. Got some maltiness going on here. A little bit of hops. I would say the aged one is better. But this is definitely a good, good competitor. Very smooth, very fresh. But I'll keep you guys posted if I do any more.